Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday Live. It is lovely to be back with you. I'm so sorry that I've missed the last couple of weeks. I haven't been very well, so that's why I've been absent on Fridays. Um, but today I am so excited because we are going to have the lovely Amanda Jensen in the studio with us actually showing her studio. So we're going to be going live across to Nanangu to have a look at abundant creativity and what Amanda has there. So that's what you can expect today. We're going to have a look at some of her lovely artwork and have a bit of an art chat. So stay with us. And let's welcome Amanda. So Amanda, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming on Friday Live today. It's super exciting to have you here with us. Well, thank you for giving me the privilege of showing everyone my studio. Now, best laid plans of mice and men, right, Amanda, this morning? Yes. Overnight, you've had flash flooding there in the Nangu. Yes, we have. Um, one lady sent a photo of her rain gauge and it was 90 mils overnight. Unbelievable. So roads have been closed, there's been mm -hmm. sirens and things going off. Mm -hmm. And so we were going to start outside the studio and just show um, your beautiful outdoor um, welcome area. So what I'll do is we've actually got a slide of that to show everyone. So I'm just popping that on the screen now. So when you drive up to Abundant Creativity, this is what you see outside. So you see this lovely artwork and um, I can't show you Amanda's actual studio, but it is new, isn't it, Amanda? It's a totally new space that you've got happening there. Yes, it's a to totally new. It's actually a four bay shed. We've got a lovely outdoor art area in the gardens, which you can't see today. <laughs> um, but we've got heaps of space for lots of goodies. Yeah, and we're both very thankful it's not raining at the moment, right? <laughs> yes, it's just drizzling. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, so tell us, let's have a little walk through of the studio. Let's take a look. But essentially, Amanda is a creative therapist, a counsellor and also an artist. So, Amanda, you bring all of those things to bear at Abundant Creativity and we're going to be having a chat about all of those sorts of things as we um, wander through the studio. So where are we now? So we've walked in the front door. Yes, we've just walked in the front door. We've got a small little retail area. So we've got paints and polymer clay and journals and lots of all your nice um, arty goodies that people <laughs> can buy after they've been to a workshop and take home and get creative. Awesome. And so I can see all the paints there. Just take us for a little wander um, down and show us what else is over on that side. So we're Thank just you. going to take a little bit of a walk through and I can see some lovely coloured papers, lots of bits and pieces yes, got, down on the shelves. We've got papers, we've got jewel tip markers, we've got um, different types of paints and journals and clay and lots of things. Awesome. So not only do you have art workshops there and art therapy sessions, you've also got some art materials available for the community as well. Yes, we do. Um, you can just pop in and grab something anytime if you like, or usually after a workshop, you've got your creative juices flowing and you want to take something home. So we've got little bits and pieces you can take home and play with. So what got you started with Abundant Creativity and why did you bring art to the community in Nangu in the first place? I guess what got me started, it's always been in me to be creative. I got my first little sew holly hobby sewing machine when I was about four <laughs> and um, drove my mother nuts wanting big pieces of fabric and bits and pieces and um, it just sort of went from there. I've always been creative and um, my children were growing up and I was working at one of the local schools and I thought, oh, I want to be a teacher. So I started doing my teaching degree and I'm going, mm, don't think this is for me. <laughs> I, I want to know why these kids are behaving the way they are. So I transferred ah. my teaching to counselling. 
Awesome. And so how did it, what's your vision for abundant creativity and, you know, um, what, how you see the studio operating there and what you offer? Um, at the moment, we offer one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients. Um, I have a lot of NDIS clients and we do paint parties. They can be private or one of the ones I've organised general workshops and my vision for the studio is to have a community or community oriented sort of place where awesome. other artists can come in and do workshops too um, as well as just have it open to everybody I don't want it to just be my business Wonderful. And I know something that you've said in, a, like, we've talked quite a lot and I know you very, very well. Um, and I know that one of the things that you have often said is that art is for everyone. And, you know, for you, it's not about um, how good you are at it, but it's about expression and um, really having an opportunity to express yourself through your artwork. Yeah, it is. I actually failed art in high school <laughs> um, because I'm more of an abstract, intuitive artist. So that's the type of artwork we do in the studio is that's why I say everyone can be an artist um, because if they draw from within and paint what's within, it'll always be perfect. So it's really about tapping into your inner creativity and really expressing your emotions through the action of creating art is what you're all about, would you say? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, so shall we take a, just let's have a walk around because I know you've okay. got this amazing desk area that has the most beautiful signage on it there and it really shows something of who you are as a person um, I know okay. we can't show it too much because we're tethered up. We've had issues. Lovely. That's perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So we can see the the wonderful banner there and it really does reflect your creativity, Amanda. Yes. Um, I had a wonderful website designer that um, helped me with my logos and all the banners and everything for social media and for the website. And we had to talk and work together. And the two colours that I use are orange and green. And they're to represent both my grandmothers. So my what? paternal grandmother, she was my arty, you know, get up and go, colourful. She had an orange perm. Um, she <laughs> had lots of coloured nails and, you know, drew on her eyebrows. And the green represents my maternal grandmother. And she was quiet and soft and into her garden. She had the most amazing garden. And um, I've got both of their geraniums that they grew in the outdoor area in their garden. How wonderful. And I love how you've connected your personal story to abundant creativity and drawn those um, colourful people into your business. Yeah, well, I've sort of... Um, Someone very wise, probably called Ashley, <laughs> told me once <laughs> to, to make my business authentic to me. So they're part of me and they're part of my story. So I wanted to involve that in my studio. It's just, it's just lovely, Amanda. I think we're, you know, our, if we can, like I say, be really authentic and bring something of ourselves, it just speaks so much more of our story. Mm -hmm. And um, that was just lovely. Thanks for sharing that. I really, really love that. So if people are on, if you could just let us know, um, say hi to Amanda and um, me and let us know you're here. Um, we really do appreciate you joining us and um, sharing in our story today. So, Amanda, let's take a look at that workshop space because you are just set up so beautifully there. It is such a welcoming space. So okay. I know you've got a really great workshop area. Thank you. Um, we've got a lovely big table here for our workshop area. We can fit up to 12 people. Wonderful. So everyone's got lots of room and everyone can move around. And so I can see some of, are they the wine bottle ladies, are they, that are there? 
these are these are just some of the wine bottle women that we do. Um, it's our most popular workshop, and I also use the wine bottle women in my creative therapies because then clients can build a personality. They they come alive and they have their mm. own personalities. Um, so this this one was actually done by a client of mine, and um, we're just all very hold very her proud. Up there for us, oh, Amanda, quite... so we can see her a bit better. Lovely. So I'll turn around. This particular girl is she loves birds and feathers. It's gorgeous. So the incorporation the of, of the feathers with it. That's just lovely. It is. It's it's lovely. So not um everything was power text, but most of it was. Um and then we've just got different versions here, like we've got African. And, and so I interestingly, I actually did something similar for an International Women's Day where um, I got people to create their culture on one of their sculptures. So it was actually mm -hmm. really interesting because their personalities really came through on their sculptures and their connection to their, um, their background and where they've come from. Yeah, it does. Even this one, the, the client's normally very quiet and reserved and normally does totally different art, but this lady just came alive. So it was lovely watching. Yeah, it, it is really. That is one mm. of the really rewarding things, isn't it, about it running is. workshops is having mm -hmm. the privilege to actually see people blossom under your tuition. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very re rewarding. Yeah. So I noticed on the way there that you also had some paintings. Now, I know, Amanda, we talked about um, the fact that you do power, power text parties. And of course, the wine bottle ladies are done with power text art supplies. Yes, and they are. Um, <clears throat> when's your next power text party coming up? It is on the 17th of September. So our power text parties, you can come along on the day. It starts at nine and you can choose what you want to make. Um, and then that sort of determines the price and how long you want to stay in the studio with me and do some creating. Awesome. So I just put up a little bit of a banner about the power text party so people could see some of the lovely artwork that they can do. So are they, tell us about these little canvases that you've got in the background here. Okay, these are some of our paint and sip canvases that we've done recently. Um, that one was last weekend. And we also do journal workshops as well. So the ladies have a choice to bring along their journals to do their paint and sip in, or they can do it on canvas. And so you have creative sessions on Thursday nights? We do. On Thursday nights, we had, we call it tribe night. So Thursday nights, you can come along and have a cup of coffee and a chat with other women. Um, you can bring your own um, things that you're working on or you can come and do a little bit of painting. So it's more awesome. of a social group, yeah. Excellent. And you also have a tribe online as well with uh, coming soon with a membership area online I, as well, don't you? Yes, I do. I have, there are some free videos on there, but there's also a membership and um, I will be putting up some more regular videos on um, different how-tos and tips and techniques. Um, so you'll get new content um, quite regularly. That, that's pretty exciting. So um, once you have that, I know we've got you coming on again next week, which is awesome. Amanda's going to share a mini demo with us next week. And, of course, we'll talk more next week about the opportunity for people to join your membership program mm -hmm. online and what they can expect to get from that. So, yeah, awesome. And, of course, journaling, art therapy wouldn't be the same without journaling and mm -hmm. expression. So, that definitely obviously comes through and I'm sure you've got a lovely group of ladies that join you each Friday, um, Thursday night. I do and they're, they're realising that their art journals are telling a story just like your dear diary would. And I'm just popping up that Creative Tribe information. So Thursday 6 to 8pm and connect with others in a creative, beautiful, relaxing, all-inclusive environment. 
And I think, Amanda, I think you've said it all there, you know, all inclusive. That's really what you're mm -hmm. about, isn't it? Well, it is. Um, I have some ladies that um, come along and they're, I guess, what I would describe as your true traditional artist. They do some amazing artwork. And then I have, you know, like children that come along and do things as well. So that's one of the things that I want the studio to be is to be all inclusive and everyone can come along because everyone's an artist. Excellent. All right. Shall we have a little bit more of a wander and um, okay. you can show us the rest of the space? Okay. I've just got a few of the extra PowerTex things here awesome. um, that you can come and create in the studio. Oh, those kits are beautiful, aren't they? The seahorse is just oh, gorgeous. Oh, yes. Yes. Just yes. Ho hold her up there, Amanda, so everyone can see. That's beautiful. So they're so nice to do, aren't they? And that's a, certainly a gorgeous example. Yeah, they are. Um, I've been lucky enough to, um, I bought a mystery box, I guess you could call it, off Buy, Swap and Sell, and it filled out my whole car, my boot, my back seat. <laughs> my passenger seat and I had no idea what I was getting and I actually got a whole box of seashells. So we've actually, we use a lot of real, sea, a lot of real seashells on the seahorse. <laughs> How wonderful. A it was, it was a surprise. Box. A mystery <laughs> it box. Was just like Christmas, so. but I didn't know what I was getting. <laughs> A, a car full of stuff. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. It and was, I know, I know um, we were talking about that the other day and you said um, you had no idea what you were going to get and you got all these amazing doilies mm -hmm. and fibres and fabrics and, and lots feathers of and things. Yeah, it's amazing. So I've got so, all these ideas in my head of <laughs> what, what I can create with PowerTex and everything and I'm sure I'm going to use it all up but it's been wonderful just having all these extra bits and pieces. So wonderful. So just while we're there um, and talking about that, what is it that you love about PowerTex and why PowerTex for you? I just think with PowerTex, it just opens up a, a whole new world of creativity and there's, it's endless, absolutely endless of what you can create with the PowerTex. And so what do you think some of the benefits are in terms of those possibilities? Um. Artistically wise, I think you can use, like I said, I've got so many bits and pieces that we can reuse and recycle mm. and you can layer and create and you've got texture and colour and it's, it's just, um, I guess, all inclusive. <laughs> it's just endless, yeah. I, I think you've just said it. It really is um, so versatile and also... Um, it the one product does so many different things so it yeah. acts like a glue a paint you can create incredible textural layers and I think just the possibilities with the medium like you say are insane so that's certainly yes. why I love it I also love the fact that you can put your artwork outside so you know and you can create sculpture and jewelry painting really you can do anything with it so the possibilities are endless so you've got a bit of a PowerTex shelf behind you there. Yes, we do. We've got um, all our PowerTex bits and pieces here. We've got our styrofoam, um, canvases, all sorts of things, heads. Um, that's a new workshop coming up I haven't done yet. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so basically then, if people need some art supplies or PowerTex and they live near Nanangu, mm -hmm. they can just um, come into the studio. When are you open there, Amanda? Okay, we are actually, we've changed our hours. We are open every day, Monday to Friday. Um, well, Monday to Thursday is 9 till 5. Um, Fridays are 9 till lunchtime and Saturdays we open at 8.30 till whenever we finish creating. So I've actually just installed a nice ring doorbell so I know when someone's here from up in the house and um, I can come in and help them find what they want to create. Awesome. Sounds fantastic. And um, so what else have we got there? I want to see all those goodies. We've got lots of paints and inks yep. and we've got stencils and we've got moulds and all sorts of goodies. Excellent. Now, 
I know when we were having a walk, I was so curious the other day when we were having a look at the studio, it was like, what is that machine, Amanda? <laughs> this is our sublimation and vinyl station. So people can come along and they can turn their artwork into tumblers and T-shirts and mugs and put them on slate and all sorts of things. So this is a 3D sublimation heat press. This is a heat press for your normal T-shirts. That is wonderful. So people can do their own personalised mugs and mm -hmm. T-shirts and really do anything with you. That just yeah, opens can. up so many possibilities. It sounds amazing. And what's the um, weight? It looks oh. like a weight machine there. Our scales here, we have... I've just checked the tracking today. We've got this lovely new eco resin coming and it's actually a water-based resin. Um, so you can mix this up, put it in moulds and it comes out more like stone than your clear resin um, because we're not into using a lot of chemicals and things like yep. that. So we like to stay as natural as possible and to be able to reuse and recycle. So that's to weigh. We need to weigh all our measurements to get them right so it sets properly. Excellent. And Sounds really interesting. What are in those drawers? Show us oh. show us the secret stash of stuff. In, Look how organized you are. Uh, oh, I, I try to be because I've got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> um, so we've got lots of vinyls and things and in the other drawers are all what we call blanks. So that's all your, your mugs and your slate and your bits and pieces and your T-shirts. Fantastic. All right. Where to next? Okay, we've got a lovely restaurant quality sink here that um, this is our cleanup station. So we've actually got one sink that's dedicated to power techs that has a bucket in it. Um, so we pop it outside instead of down the drain and we've got another that's a non-messy cleanup area. Fantastic. Okay. And you're coming into, we've got a nice fridge. So when we have our paint and sips, you can bring your bottle of wine along and keep it cool. <laughs> Most um, important. <laughs> it is, it is. Um, a coffee station, lots of teas and coffees, different kinds of milk and a lovely so, lounge area. So you've really set it up to be a very welcoming space, Amanda. It looks really comfortable and cosy. Yeah, that was the idea. So people can come here and they can relax and unwind and de-stress and just sort of let go and have a little bit of fun and be creative. Excellent. So they can take a bit of time out and really just mm -hmm. leave mm -hmm. everything outside the door and come in there, be spoilt with some lovely teas and coffee and sit and relax. And I can see you've got some books and different things over in that corner there yes we actually have a free library so you can come and take a book and you can leave a book so it can be anything creative related um motivational life re related um and it just it comes in handy because we all like reading a little bit or a lot and um so we do a bit of a book swap definitely so tell us um with your one-on-one -on -one creative therapy sessions mm -hmm. if someone wanted creative therapy like I guess first of all what does it mean to do creative therapy what could people expect when they come to you for that purpose okay creative therapy is I guess just a, a, a mixture of a counselling session and being creative so I actually provide um, we can do sand play we can work with clay we can do art, um, we can do sculpture with power techs. Well, I have a lot of things, bits and pieces along the back wall that's hidden that if the client has something in mind, we can normally find something to create it with. Um, one of my clients is actually doing a full-size cosplay costume out of EVA foam. So <laughs> it's a wide variety. Your options are quite you know, open. I love Powertex for wearable art mm -hmm. and I think it's got so much potential for cosplay as well. I, I've thought that for a long time. So, um, but, yeah, just how do you integrate then the artwork with a counselling session, for example? 
Um, what I do, it's actually cl client-led therapy. So first of all, I'll spend the first, you know, five minutes or so just talking to them and seeing how their week's been. And then just from that little bit of inf information, I can work out what might benefit them. Sometimes it might be painting with your hands or sometimes it is, you know, doing a sculpture and um, it can be sensory. So um, Powertex is actually wonderful for that because it gets that little bit of sticky when it dries. And lots of my um, clients that are children, they love the feel of it and they, <laughs> love, they love it when it gets like that. So it's, it's more client-led. I don't actually have a program or anything. So we sort of leave the options open depending on how their week's been. So it helps people with stress and anxiety. Um, mm -hmm. What sort of people do you help? Um, I work with a lot of children that are on the spectrum. So it's great for their anxiety. It helps build their confidence. They learn communication skills, fine motor skills. And um, I've got clients that are schizophrenic. They make wonderful artists and it's it's just it's an it's a mindfulness thing as well so while yep. they're sitting here and creating they just can switch off that part of their brain and they can just be in the moment and even Absolutely. that just being able to switch off is a great benefit mm. Yeah, you can definitely absolutely lose yourself in your artwork. You and can. I think, yeah. you know, um, there's so many obviously mental health benefits mm -hmm. with actually even just the process of creating it itself, like you're saying. Yes, there definitely is. And I sort of, I, I make a buffer of half an hour in between clients because I hate getting to a stage and going, you know, tick, tick, time's up. So I always allow that little bit extra so they can finish somewhere that feels right for them if the mm. whole project isn't completed. Mm. Mm. So do you do um, group therapy sessions as well or do you tend to just do more one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I mainly do one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions. Um, it's, it's difficult sometimes with groups because you've got to get, you know, um, your same age groups together or you've got to find... Um, you want the, the group to be cohesive and be able to get along as well. So <laughs> our, our group workshops, they're, they're mainly for um, ladies that come along on a Saturday or a Thursday night and are doing it just to have fun. Yeah. Um, and my therapies are during the week one-on-one. -on -one. Beautiful. That Listen to me being all curious about this. <laughs> um, something else that you did mention was sand play. So for a lot of people, they wouldn't know what that is. Um, I've got an idea, but I just it would be great if you could just um, talk just for a moment about what that actually is. Yeah, sure. I've used sand play for some of my younger clients. You can use it for any age. Um, but it's like a big, large container. We put just some sand in it and I'll have different bits and pieces like we've got trees or we've got cellophane that could be water, animals, fairies, mushrooms. Um, we've got some lovely coloured stones. So I just let them sit and play and they will create their own world or they might just like the feel of the sand. And I use it mainly for communication. So... Mm -hmm. After they've finished creating, they can then tell me the story of what they've created. Perfect. And it's it just sounds like so much fun. I'm going, oh. <laughs> I, I can come just over see. to Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see what that would be like and I'm just imagining pulling a story together just from objects and items. And you can also do that through art as well, through symbolism mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. connecting parts and, and drawing pathways mm -hmm. and colour, yeah. Mm -hmm. So very, very exciting what you do, Amanda. I think it is just so amazing what you offer the community there in Nanangu. So if you do live near Amanda, then make sure you get along to her studio, check the studio out, go and say hello, drop in and have a coffee at that beautiful coffee station and um, see what Amanda's got to offer there. So, um, Amanda, I really appreciate you being on um, Friday Live today. We haven't had any questions. We do get a lot of people who watch the live in replay 
And so um, I know Amanda will be hopping on at some point mm -hmm. as well to answer any questions that anyone does have. And um, that's what we're here for. We love to do that. So do connect with Amanda. And um, so, Amanda, if people do want to connect with you, how do they do that? So you're on Facebook as Abundant Creativity. Yes, they can message me on Facebook. My phone number is also on Facebook. And if you're a local, you just have to drive up to the top of Drayton Street, turn right into Bright Street, and you'll see all the murals. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. So they it. just have to look out for the artwork and they'll find you when yes. they drive up the driveway there. They will. They will. Okay. We have, um, so I'll just pop that up on the screen. So to connect with Amanda, you can go onto Facebook at Abundant Creativity or follow the links in the description from today um, to her website and to her Instagram pages. And it's always nice um, to be followed and um, then we can actually follow you back as well and have a look at what you're doing. So yes. do connect with us. Another place where you can connect is you can actually connect with us on Facebook on the Powertex Australia Creative Hub. It is a really welcoming community and um, if you're stuck with anything Powertex, we will help you or there will be someone in the group who will help you. Everyone is so friendly and it's a great place to share what you actually do, isn't it, Amanda? It is. It is. I love seeing other people's artwork and getting inspired. Yeah, and it's just such a friendly community and everyone is really lovely in the group. Mm -hmm. So um, it's such a great space. So if you haven't joined the Creative Hub for Powertex Australia, be sure to join. And just another word, something that we have um, been doing lately here um, at Powertex headquarters in Australia is um, I've actually been creating a new What Is explainer series about all the different products. So um, you can go onto the YouTube channel at Powertex Australia and you'll find a new series all about the different products. Um, so what is Power Wax? What is Rusty Powder? What is Easy Structure? What is 3D Flex? There's a whole series of different explainer videos there that are designed to help you understand what the different products do. So they're just really basic, easy to watch little videos to help you guys. Um, all righty. I myself, I've got to jump and just say I am super excited um, for the first time, I am going to be, I'll talk to you now, um, I'm going to basically be on the radio, IPL radio station in Rockingham. It is a radio station all about mental health and looking after people's mental health, but we have are doing an art program on a Sunday afternoon. It's called The Yarn homespun arts and music and it's all Australian so if you're interested in Australian art and artists and musicians you can actually listen from anywhere in the world I'll pop a little bit of a screen up so you can see the information about that so Sunday afternoons 2 to 4 p.m the yarn homespun arts and music and so there's a group of us affiliated with friends of the Arts Inclusive Resource. It's a collaboration between them and IPL Radio to bring you some really cool content. And this week, um, I am actually going to be interviewing Leon Holmes, who is an amazing plein air painter. And um, his interview will start around about 2.20 or 2.30. And um, we're going to have a really good yarn about plein air painting and what inspires him to do what he does. And then my co-host, Lowry, has um, Vescu Matara, who is a music producer here in Perth, coming on with three musicians. So it's going to be huge. And you can, as it says on the banner here, you can listen online from anywhere in the world. It is Australian Western Standard Time. So you just go to IPL Radio um, dot org dot au and you can find it all there so there's a little bit of exciting 
um, things that's new for me. Um, and Amanda, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I know when we talked about it the other day, you said, oh, I'll listen in. <laughs> yeah. So, Haven't listened to the radio for a long time. Yeah, so it's going to be really um, a week just full of um, content this week. So, um, yeah, have a, listen, have a listen in. We'd love you to join us. All righty, so don't forget, Amanda, you'll be back next week, mm -hmm. same bat time, mm -hmm. and um, we'll be actually doing a mini demo. Well, not me. You, you'll be doing a mini oh, well. demo, and mm -hmm. it is just a gorgeous piece. So um, we'll put that artwork up later on so you can see what you can do next week with Amanda. It will be a practical session so you can get hands on and she'll be sharing some of her wonderful tips and tricks with us next week. So very excited about that, Amanda. Actually, I've got a little bit of a sneaky peek you guys can have a look at. There it is. She's going to show you how to do this beautiful artwork. It's going to be a mini demo next Friday live at 10 a.m. And it, isn't that just gorgeous? So that is stunning, Amanda. So I'm a bit excited to um, join you for that as well. Thank you. And I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so if you want to learn more about Powertex, you can go to the Powertex website. There's heaps of information on there. And like I say, if you need any product information, definitely go to the YouTube um, channel, which is also Powertex Australia, and check it out. And if you're looking for some online courses, I also do um, some online courses at Ashley Hay Art Academy. Alrighty, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. It has been our pleasure to be here with you live um, from Australia, from very wet Nanangu in Queensland. And um, it certainly posed some challenges for us today, didn't it, Amanda? Mm -hmm. it, it did, definitely. <laughs> I'm glad so, we could do it. Absolutely. And I seriously look forward to having you on next week. Thank you to everyone who has joined us today or if you're joining us in replay, please hashtag replay, drop us a comment, let us know you watched and um, just say hi to Amanda as well. So thank you, everyone, from Amanda and me. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Ciao, everyone. Bye. Uh...